Good morning. It is now 6.30 and we just rushed now to the ferry because we are traveling from Moskines to Oslo. Yeah, well, Moskines to uh, Bode. And I don't know what's up with the website, but uh, they claim that you have to be here no later than 45 minutes before departure. And let me just double check. The departure is in fact at 7. Yeah. Oh shit, that there's some diesel crap uh, fired up now. Oh, it's the smell. Why is it even allowed? Uh, so I have to recirculate. Okay, but what's up with that? They say that we have to be here 45 minutes before, and now even half an hour before departure, and they still haven't started boarding. They, we have been standing still here. I think next time I'll be here maybe half an hour before. You don't have to rush that hard. We are now at the supercharger in studio, juicing up, getting over 130 kilowatts, yeah. And the next stop will be Motion, 200 kilometers from here. So um, I check about the route planner and we have to charge to, well, that's the minimum. So always add a little bit of margin. So let's say 75%. Shouldn't take too long though. So there's another Model 3 parked here, charging. Um, yeah. Now I want to show you the surroundings. So you see winter hasn't come here yet. There's a little bit of snow here. Uh, but I guess up in the mountains, the winter is here. Look. Ooh, nice. So uh, not much report right now. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised that the car isn't too dirty. I mean, uh, the salt schmutz is out. And what the heck is this? Huh? Mosquitoes? Here? What the heck happened to these mosquitoes? Yeah, these are mosquitoes. First I thought it was just some schmutz, but it... how did the mosquitoes end up here? <laughs> that was a big mystery. Oh, maybe I should clean the... Yeah, okay, okay. I, I, I think I want to rinse the car somewhere, but uh, maybe not now. Uh, we want to get over to the Thai food place in uh, uh, Mushan. You know, this trip has been wonderful when it comes to views and auroras but also we have been mapping out all the thai food on this route <laughs> yeah. oh so all right let's just hang out a little bit and then off we go again We are now at the supercharger in Motion. 
you guys know this location through Hogan's hotel is over there we have mountains starting to be covered with some snow so we are parked here I mean well parked and charging and uh, you know we want to go for some lunch now so I've been there before with the Polestar I don't know why this uh, well I mean it's not really in the way it's just a slightly cumbersome if let's say um, let's say an Ionic comes here because Ionic has charge board on that side so Ionic wants to park more here so this is actually a bad manner in my opinion because there are plenty of available uh, parking spots here you see just show you guys here so why the heck did this soul want chose to park here I have no idea but anyway we want to go over there a taste of Thailand yeah <laughs> this trip is all about eating Thai food by the supercharger or somewhere on our route uh, what the heck it is closed nine 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 why is oh it's it's closed on Mondays oh man what a noob okay well I'm then I'm not sure what to eat around here this I was planning to eat here and supercharge so the whole plan now went uh, in the dish yes Plan Yuki Vaska now for Halbete. Well, I guess I would just have uh, this instead then. Pulaibre. Havre, Pulaibre, you see. With Shinke Ust. Ananas Bite. Yeah, Shinke Ust. So, alright. Holy guac. Come on, I was about to eat this. Actually, <gasps> it's moldy. I already had a piece this morning. Uh oh. Okay. Wait. When is this supposed to expire? No wonder why I get Type 3 C discharge all the time. Let me check the expiry date here. What the heck? 25th of 10. It says here, 25th, oh, uh, 25th. Well, that was yesterday. <sighs> All right. now at the supercharger in Girong so yeah today we've just been hammering it and it's getting dark but I want to show you now how dirty the car is well can you see it you can kind of see it right okay, let me let me turn on the lights here whoa let's see let's see how dirty the car is okay but I noticed that the effect of the lead bar is not that great well actually yeah it's not that dirty but I mean, since we are just charging, we might as well clean them. So, this is where the squirt bottle comes. Okay, so all you do is just... See? This is why I bring the squirt bottle. And also here... Clean the laser cannon. Hey, why is it not sucking properly? 
Yeah, so you just clean it, do it at the pit stop. We don't, we don't have to stay here too long. Oh, this is, it looks better already. Actually, you, I have, I put wiper juice in here. I mean, what do you call it again? Washer fluid. But just because of winter, but you don't. I mean, you can just use uh, clean water. I mean, I, I could bring it in the in the can there or something. And then let's just check. Oh yeah. So another thing you want to do is. Uh, oh shit! How do I get here? Let me just leap over here. Oh holy guacamole! This one. This is what you call schmutz. But I want to clean this one also. Just give it a good squirt. There we go. Yes. And yeah, let's check MC Hammer, 27%. Okay, we're gonna check it soon. So, wow, I, I need to clean the car soon. Oh. <laughs> well, and it's quiet here as usual. We have one uh, Model S charging over there and then plenty of stalls available. And then I use this one because uh, I imagine that these ones, they give me more power than the the old stalls, but actually it shouldn't matter. Yeah, maybe it's just a, a coincidence. But this is nice weather over here. Ooh, yeah, no rain. Yeah, and just like every other, every time we've been here, we only get around 120 kilowatt. Well, actually, uh, the afterburners here, they are sucking uh, seven kilowatt, but it needs to heat to the battery. Yeah, so, Seems like this supercharger site is slightly slower than the other ones. You know, we were getting 135 uh, up to 140 kilowatt on the other sites. But okay, I shouldn't complain. But uh, anyway, we don't have to stay here too long. So uh, ac a um, according to a better route planner, we need only 50% to reach the next one, Shardar. And yeah, so it means if I charge to 60%, then I'm good. Actually, how, can we see here? How long does it take to reach 60%? right around there done this one should oh yeah 10 minutes <laughs> this one tells you right away not like some other german auto where you don't see it uh, right away The last charging stop for today, well, the last supercharger stop for today is uh, supercharger shirt on. So I cleaned the car right before I supercharged, so it was so dirty. But you see, this is the beauty of uh, Ceramic Pro that I have. It's, uh, it's coat, ceramic coating, is that it looks very dirty, but with just clean water, all the schmutz runs right off it. You see? I didn't use any soap, just high pressure, whoop, shit is gone. So it's so much easier to keep the car clean in winter. So anyway, uh, we don't have too long here, I guess. Uh, yeah, let me show you inside uh, what's up. Not, not much to see. Oh, I have to show you something. Since last time I showed you guys, look here, kudos to Circle K, they have four times 150 kilowatt fast charger here. It's like Ionis style, huh? Yeah, and then two times 50 kilowatt. The only thing I'm missing is more space between them. So I know that uh, Circle K, they are watching my videos. So, well, I guess, I mean, you could, yeah. These ones are nice, you see, trailer friendly stalls. Except for that, depending on which direction you put it at, but yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good, this is good. Trailer friendly stalls. But, yeah, 
I guess if there's a problem, you can always move this this trailer a little bit further away so you can fit that in. But yeah, good stuff, man. Five times, four times, 150 kilowatt fast chargers. So see, the problem tonight is that uh, uh, I was considering which hotels to stay at, and there are lots of hotels in in the city here, Trondheim. But uh, I don't feel like parking the car in the city. And I mean, I could charge it as I'm 422 kilowatt here and there. But um, I think what I will do is I will just top up a little bit here. I mean, it goes fairly fast anyway. And then we have booked the hotel. Oh, where is it in Tomstad? Around here, no, in the city sud. Yeah, yeah, around here somewhere. Uh, outside the city. Yeah, that's better. And there's supposed to be, uh, yeah, here, here, here it is. Let me see, do we see the name of it? No, it's a fairly new hotel. Wait, no, that's not the one. Okay, whatever. I missed. I missed it. I'm. Um, uh, I don't know this place too well, but there is a uh, AC over there. I want to check it out. Uh, it doesn't say how fast it is, but I suspect it's only 3.7 kilowatt, and it has a a three-hour time limit. So I can charge a little bit in the evening. And yeah, you could say, well, what about you could just go to the supercharger here? Well, yeah, but I think it's no big deal. You no, know, usually when we travel. Um, the car charges faster than we can catch up anyway, so uh, I don't think it, there's a problem tomorrow anyway. But uh, we will charge up a little bit, maybe just five more minutes to 50%, 50%, and then we go to a golden Torne. We are now at Tyholt Torne. There it is. It's a uh, radio and TV and probably other communication well I just say communication tower plus a restaurant on top there Egon yeah they also call it Egon Torne <laughs> oh yeah let's go upstairs and get some food finally car is not charging but that doesn't matter now we have reached a destination for today oh the food is here this is Egon burger with fries oh I should have gone for the for the the other fries um, Sweet potato. For wifey, steak with sweet potato. Mmm, let's dig in. Oh, that was great food. So anyway, um, we are now at the supercharger in Klett. So let me tell you now. First we went to the hotel and we checked in. And then I went to that, uh, there was, there's a shopping mall with, uh, with the charging station. But as expected, the shopping when the shopping mall center is closed, they also cut the power. <laughs> so I think I will update PlugShare with, with that information in case someone else wants to use them in the evening. No, uh -uh. But then, okay, so I had two options. I could just go to the hotel with 50%. I had about 50%. Or I can charge up here. And I chose to go come here and charge it up because something about old habit that I want to charge when the battery is nice and warm and uh, I want to just go far tomorrow. Uh, so let me just show you here. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, I was charging here for a long time um, and there are plenty of stalls over there. You, you, you see only four stalls, but there are also more stalls behind that one. So I, I, I think at least eight stalls over there. So why did the Model X park right next to me? Uh, you know, he could, he could at least park on that spot there, but no, 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 no. But anyway, so let me go inside. Let me show you here. I think we are close to 90%. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I wanted to charge up enough. And, you know, I've been hammering it today. I barely had time to check uh, my Facebook or anything, so... I just did that now, so it's not like a waste of time. Um, but I also want to juice up extra because I want to run center mode tonight because we have to park outside the hotel. And I can show you that the hotel is... Um, there, the hotel is there. And the parking is outside at the... Uh, well, yeah, at the parking lot outside. So then you want to ABS always be sentry <laughs> yeah but okay but no big deal i mean um, if i can choose yes i would go for ac charging but this is the case where we don't have ac charging well, actually i want to go a little bit past it 
uh, they're, they're, they're not too much positive. But um, actually, this kind of scenario also happened during a road trip through Europe last year. Because, let me zoom out, wow, I'll just show you here. We have, we have so many superchargers. Oh, come on, load, load. MCU is kaput. Scheiße. What happened to the... Come on. I was going to show... There, 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 there. Okay. We have so many superchargers. So it happened that... Okay, I mean... All right. Let me explain here. So when I'm in Norway, I have Fortum RFID. I have... Well, I can, I can show you guys here what we have here. Uh, when I'm in Norway, this is my home turf. So I have Fortum Charge and Drive, Grip Contact, I have In Charge, E-Strom e Laden, uh, more Fortum, I have Vista, more Vista, uh, IKEA Family, okay, Mindgau, Clever, you know, I have I have all this stuff, yeah. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, that was Vattenfall. Oh, Koppler. You see, I have, oh, this one. New motion. I have all these RFIDs here, but for Norway, you know, this is my home turf. So, but then when I go other countries, there might be some local shit, like in Hamburg or in Lübeck. Uh, you need yet another app. So then I don't want to dick around in the evening, plugging in somewhere near the hotel or whatever. So then if I have a supercharger nearby, I might use it. Just like here. So this, uh, for for me, I could use a Fortum nearby or Grand Contact or whatever, you know, like I've done in the past. But I think for foreigners, it's more convenient for them to just go to a supercharger and camp camp 10 minutes extra. I should have camped 10 minutes extra at Shodan, but then we want to have lunch. I mean, we want to have dinner. So, but you see, yeah, this is the, I guess this is the, the advantage of Tesla is that you can choose to charge very cheap it's just that yeah you have to do something useful while you're camping here but i'm gonna go soon yeah i'm gonna go so yeah i think we're good now all right mandatory room inspection this is quality hotel panorama it cost one point well, 1400 nook per night yes quite pricey and you know we are we're used to uh, so much space with uh, with the cabin and then this place here looks so cramped in comparison. So we have a little bit of a view here over the, yeah, the parking lot. That's it. And then here, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the bathroom. Tiny bathroom. Okay, well, at least it's nice and stylish. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. I think this is only six, 16 or 18 square meters. So, uh, yes, anyway, we did uh, 700 kilometers today and it took 11 hours. And you might be thinking, hey, EVs are so slow, right? It takes forever to drive 700 kilometers. Mm -mm. Come to Norway. The roads here are so damn slow. You guys saw in the video, we have 50 zones, 60 zones, mostly 80 zones, 80 kilometers per hour. That's 50 kilometers per hour. Even if you use a diesel, it will take probably 10 hours. So, all right, I think that'll be it. Now we will just chill and tomorrow we go back to Oslo. So, good night.